so today I'm going to read a prelogue called The Absolutely Rarest Thing. Ah. Having surveyed this world and its inhabitants, Lotus Ocean has found that the rarest thing here is not gold or diamonds or uranium. The rarest thing is learning attitude. Absolutely. That is so, so true. He is so right. Yeah, this, yeah, like pe beings think that like um, there's like a whole bunch of uh, things in life that are rare, like like how he said gold or diamonds or like, you know, things in nature that are rare or um, things of that nature. And and he's so right that learning attitude is actually the most rarest thing because beings just don't have learning attitude and it shows in everything that they do. Like beings go around um, every day of their life thinking that they know what they're doing. They think that like beings think they know what's what's the healthiest diet to eat. They think they know what's the best clothes to wear. Where they think uh, they know where they live. They think they know what their purpose is. They just think all of these kinds of things, and they have all these faulty uh, mindsets that that actually show that they don't have a learning attitude. Because if they had a learning attitude, they would actually take the time out to search for what what is actually true and what is like the absolute truth and if they do that they would find out like they would actually come um towards p because like if any being searches for truth then they're they're um at the same time they're searching for p at the same time and and not having a learning attitude is like the only problem that beings have here like p explained like if beings had a learning attitude then they would actually take the time out to learn from the you know the ancient Vedic ways of how to live and what's the purpose of the body and you know what's the overall purpose of being here because like how P said the only reason beings were birthed birthed here is because they um is like to evolve and beings can't evolve if they you know if they don't have a learning attitude and P can really see if beings have a learning attitude based on like how they behave. Like if beings are acting all bratty or like bound rats, like how P explained in one of his his P logs of beings are acting all bratty and kiddish and like just not wanting to learn at all. Like how um it's like a natural thing is for beings to actually have a learning attitude and beings don't have that. They have like the like society actually you know fools beings into thinking that they know everything you know based on like how many credentials they had from from like universities or colleges or like that but it's actually like like a crazy like faulty notion that they that they think that they know a whole lot but they actually don't have but they actually don't know anything like nothing of use and not like nothing of practical use like how p always like says that like if you you know if you um like learning like having knowledge is just it's just like how beings just research a whole bunch of um things on the internet but if they can't use it practically then it's not real knowledge and yeah beings try to say like this is the problem or that is the problem but really the the only problem that beings have is like not having a learning attitude and if beings just you know, humble themselves and just put the ego aside, then they would actually, you know, have like, com like they would actually open up a space where they can um, allow themselves to learn from a being who actually knows what, you know, what he's talking about and what he's doing. And some beings actually kid themselves that they, um, that they think that they have a learning attitude. Like they would say, well, I have a learning attitude and they would show a little bit of having a learning attitude, but when something really challenges them, like it really like hits against their their belief system, then they completely just uh, they turn their back on 
on divine like if something is like really they're really attached to something that they held to be true and um and then it gets challenged then they completely get get really like like a bratty and kiddish and they like kick and scream and then that's where like you know you can see if they're sincere or not and p has a very like he is really discerning and he actually he really knows if a being is sincere about if they want to evolve or not like if beings had a real real learning attitude then they would approach p p with respect and with um like and acknowledging that he has done all that, that he's done all the work and he has all the high point of views of every topic and situation that's happening on this planet and if beings hold that as, you know, as sacred, and if they hold that as, um, like, an important thing that P actually knows what he's doing, then they would actually uh, learn how to be sincere and not, you know, um, and not get, like, defensive or not, um, you know, hit at, like, or, like, you know, just kick and scream when they're, um, like when their reality is being challenged with what's true. So, yeah.